Reporting for Jacksonville.com from Jacksonville Municipal Stadium, this is Gene Fournette, sports columnist from the Florida Times Union, along with Jaguars beat writer Vito Stellino. And Vito, what, what can you say about a dismal performance like today? The Jaguars really presented the Minnesota Vikings with Christmas early. Five turnovers, quarterback David Garrard being handed a 14-0 deficit before he even touched the ball. And that, that was sort of a, a microcosm for the rest of the day. Jaguars lose 30-12 to to the Minnesota Vikings, fall to 4-7. and seven. Uh, Certainly any flickering uh, uh, playoff dreams that the Jaguars had are gone now. And the worst part about it for the Jaguars is there's still five games left in this season. Uh, no question. Uh, th- this was rock bottom. Uh, I've never seen Jack so upset after a game. He used words like ridiculous said they're the all-time practice team that they don't translate what they do in practice on the field and the very first play just said it all this is a team that's careless it's not being well coached the coach has lost the team on the first play the center a veteran center brad meester did not know that david grard was in going to be in a shotgun now how can that happen this is professional football and so uh meester snapped it like it was going to be uh, like uh Gerard was right behind him uh, he wasn't ball hit, hit Meester, uh, fumble, uh, touchdown. And uh, and then they, the Jaguars actually, Minnesota only got 70 yards like in the first half. The Jaguars get back in the game, and then they just keep making more mistakes. I mean, this this was unacceptable. Uh, and, and you have to wonder whether, you know, Jack Del Rio can turn this around because uh, – they, they have. It's like the players have just tuned him out. The self destruction that went on today wasn't just conf- confined to uh, uh, to just one unit. Special teams certainly had breakdowns. Brian Witherspoon had two fumbles. Uh, one of the fumbles uh, resulted in a uh, in a uh, in a field goal for the Vi- uh, sc- excuse me a touchdown for the Vikings. Uh, uh, Mercedes Lewis, the tight end, had a drop ball. Uh, in the end zone, uh, David Garrard had a very poor second half after a pretty good first half because he actually got the Jaguars back in it. Josh Scoby, uncharacteristic, right from the middle of the field, missing two field goals. Uh, that, that's very rarely happened in Josh's career. Uh, Josh Scoby described it as a meltdown, meaning specifically the special teams, which is really surprising because Joe De- DeCamillis' unit has been the most consistent unit for the Jaguars this year. But you know what, Vito? I guess it's almost like, uh, like, like, like the golfer who goes out there and you're not playing well you don't get breaks you get you know you, you just add to your misery and that's what it seemed like for the Jaguars today now, what they did I mean the Vikings did everything they could to let them get back in the game the Vikings didn't do a whole lot offensively to to uh, stretch out the early 14 nothing lead that they had the Jaguars had chances to get back in it but it seems like at every opportunity they just seem to uh, you know give it right back yeah, this just like it looked like a team that was disorganized, uh, a loss interest for the second week in a row. The offense hasn't scored a point in the second half. Uh, there are so many problems, uh, and and Del, and Del Rio talked about himself and and, and evaluating everything. Uh, they've got a, a lot of evaluating to do because this team does not look like it has a heart right now. Uh, once again, uh, in, in what has become a pattern for this season, gave up on the running game early. Now, granted, the Vikings were the second-ranked run defense in the NFL, but the Jaguars really made no attempt to even try to run the ball. Only nine carries between Fred Taylor and Maurice Jones-Drew. The only bright spot today was uh, Maurice Jones-Drew had over 200 all-purpose yards, but it, it really doesn't matter. When you're, when you're committing five turnovers, you can have all the yardage you want. The bottom line is you're, you're going to get the result that, uh, that you got today, 30-12. to 12. Now next week they have the, uh, the task of going to Houston, a place where they haven't played well over, over the last few years. Two four and seven teams uh, going at it against each other on, on Monday Night Football. And it just... It's hard to envision any kind of scenario for this season where he, where it can even end reasonably well, let alone on any kind of optimistic note. They would have to win their last five games to have a winning season. That's not going to happen. They have to go four and one to finish at 500. I think uh, we're definitely looking at a losing season, and and we're continuing this up and down thing with Del Rio's team. They made the playoffs in 05, 8 and 8 and 06. Made the playoffs last year. And who knows what the record's going to be, but it's going to be a losing record. Uh, there's just a lack of consistency on this team. And now they've grown old. Uh, they've drafted one Pro Bowl player in the last six years. They, uh, they have a major rebuilding job ahead of them. 
Well, Josh Scobie, uh, as I said earlier, he described it on the special teams unit today as being a meltdown, but really it was a meltdown for everybody. Uh, and here we are. It's not even Thanksgiving yet, and there's really not a whole lot for the for the Jaguar fans to give thanks to. And, uh, you know, David Garrard, in his postgame press conference today, apologized to the Jaguar fans for the performances that, they, that they've given this year, particularly right here at Jacksonville Municipal Stadium. And today was unquestionably the rock bottom of four consecutive home losses. Reporting from Jacksonville Municipal Stadium for Jacksonville.com, this is Gene Fournette and Vito Stellino.